Thursday morning, everybody. It's the 4th of July. Uh, hopefully, you're having a good morning. Uh, you can see it's a little bit later out because I slept in a bit. And I wasn't really thinking about doing a video this morning, but doing a little prayer, doing a little meditation, and I got to look at the readings like, oh, I like this reading. So the readings today are Matthew 8, chapter, verses, chapter 8, verses 28 through 34. And it's a scene where Jesus is in pagan territory. And he cures these two men uh, who have demons in them, and he sends off the swine. And when the people, the interesting thing is when the people came out, they begged Jesus to leave. They saw this thing that happened, and they, they begged Jesus to leave. And it's a just a kind of an odd setting, like, what's going on, and what's Jesus teaching? Well, I remember uh, several years ago, I was reading this book uh, by uh, a theologian that I particularly like. And his whole thing with Jesus is Jesus, the scapegoat, that Jesus points out how we scapegoat others, and he became the scapegoat, and asks us, really, then forces us to confront our own issues. And one of these scenes, he put some like a scene like this, talking about how the, the people probably hear it, blamed everything. They scapegoated those two men who were who were the demons, had the demons. Everything bad that happened to them, they could blame to those men. And Jesus, by getting rid of the demons, took away their excuses. Now the people would have to confront their own reality. And that's what I liked about it. And and, and that's what just popped up in this in this reading for me and thinking about it a little bit. And thinking, yeah, you know, it still works. You know, I scapegoat uh, a lot. Um, and I hear people do it all the time. Clearly, I think we do it as a society, you know. And I think we have to, that's our social sin that we have to adjust uh, to make amends for and fix. But also on a personal level, you know. It, it's that one, it's a subtle one, but it's like, you know, people say, well, I'll say, you know, you made me angry. Well, no, really. The person, the other person really didn't make it. Something about the anger is within here. I'm reacting to something, but it's all in here. Uh, you know, we we blame people for, oh, you know, everything that goes wrong. Well, we got to look first here. Uh, you know, people are a lot of ups, very upset now these days with everything. And I think instead of reacting, Jesus would say, What's going on? Troy, why are you so upset? Why are you all upset? And uh, don't let others make you react. Sit and figure out what's going on. Address the issue in here. Now, hopefully that's making sense to everybody because, again, I can get caught up. I get so angry. Or my little voice in my head always starts projecting worst-case scenarios, you know, about people going to attack me for this and that. And like... You're making them a scapegoat for your own security, Bob. And, and that's what it comes down to. So uh, Jesus says, work on your own stuff. So maybe today, on this 4th of July, instead of blaming others for our issues, uh, we need to look a little bit more. We can do a little bit more work inside. Okay? That makes sense. All right, guys. I will see you back here tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Be safe out there, please, especially in Reno. Um, it just seems like we've had a lot of accidents these past few days. Okay, take care. Bye-bye, guys.